Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Sketching TV, our best attempt at a YouTube series shot at our custom paint shop in Ottawa, Ontario. This week's episode, we have a really interesting project for you guys. Uh, it's a 1930s Dayton Way Scale. After some discussion with the owner about this piece, we decided on a black cherry base coat, followed by some pinstriping and some water slide decals. So in order to get started on this project, we first had to bring it to Ottawa Brass to get it taken apart, then to Ottawa Powder Coating to get sandblasted. Being that this piece is well over 80 years old, there was bound to be some issues. The only issue that we actually had to deal with was a small crack on the top of the scale. So what I did this morning was I took a rasp and I made some templates. So essentially what I needed was the structural backing for this. Um, so to keep the metal from from bowing, I'm gonna use these um, structural pieces as kind of like a base, and then I'm gonna use a two-part epoxy to basically reinforce it. Now we're going to put down some primer to get it ready for base coat paint. While I waited for the base coat paint to cure, I went back into the finish room to paint the backings of the metal plates that came off the scale. To keep these pieces looking clean, instead of sandblasting them, we actually sent them to Ottawa Brass to get polished. By the time I'm done painting all the metal plates, the base coat color was fully cured and ready for clear coat. While I was busy masking off for the pinstripe, Jeremy went onto the computer and started rendering for the Dayton logo. Once Jeremy was all done designing the logo, we had it cut into vinyl to get it ready for a stencil. With the vinyls cut and the negative sections removed, we placed it on the base to get it ready for paint. Now we're going to mask off everything except for the areas we want to paint red. Now I'm going to bring it into the booth to spray the red pinstripe and the red areas on the date. Now that we're all done spraying the red, we're going to mask off the red areas and unmask the areas we want to spray gold. Now that all the colors that are going on the scale have been sprayed, I can now unmask the entire scale and get it ready for some brushwork. Now it's time to bring everything back into the finishing room to do the black outline on the Dayton logo. I'm also going to be adding some white dots to each letter to recreate the classic logo. Now 
Now that the base coat, pinstripe, and logo are all done, it's all ready for clear coat. After we were done spraying the clear, we had to do a quick polish on all the parts and everything was finished. for this episode folks stay tuned and subscribe for trailers and previews for all new sketches and content as well as special episodes promos and much much more